Hey guys, it's Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your MacBook in a couple easy steps. Stay tuned guys so I can show you how to do that. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on our MacBook. This is a very easy process to do. Uh, most people will do this before giving their laptop away to somebody, selling it, etc. So we're gonna go ahead and log into this MacBook. Keep in mind, this is good for a 2017 and up MacBook, unless you have a newer iOS on there. Uh, primarily, it's a couple steps and everything's ready for a new user. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock our MacBook and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a couple things. The most important thing when selling your MacBook or giving it away to somebody is always, always, always make sure your iCloud or Apple ID is completely off the computer because what will happen is pretty much it will be locked and the only way it can be unlocked is with you. Um, I had customers come to me telling me to unlock it and it's just a really hard process to do, um, sometimes impossible depending on the year of the MacBook. Um, even uh, Apple support will not help you with that unless you are the person that owns the Apple account. Um, but still it's a big headache so just before you sell or get ready to factory set your laptop just make sure you log out of this completely. It should look just like this where it says sign in with your Apple ID. That means the Apple ID is all completely off this computer. Okay, the next step we're gonna do is go ahead and turn off the computer. You can turn it off with the button. I like to turn it off over here. And the next step, we're gonna be using the keyboard to get into pretty much the bio settings to reset it that way. And let's turn this bad boy off. Okay, so now that the computer's off, we're gonna pretty much hold down Command R and the power button. This is gonna put us in the recovery mode of the BIOS settings, and this is how you want to delete all your files. This will make sure everything is completely off the laptop and pretty much ready for a new user. So just continue to hold Command-R. Sometimes this can take a little bit and it'll put you in the recovery mode. Once you see the indicator bar right there below, you can go ahead and release. It's already gonna go into that BIOS setting for you. Again, this computer is a little bit older, um, this one's a 2018 MacBook with the i9. Definitely <laughs> makes a lot of heat, um, but it's time to give this to a new user. And here is this, the mode you want to be in, Mac OS Recovery. And if you notice here, it's still going to ask you for the password of the computer, which I have, so we'll go ahead and type that in now. So it's always good that you do all this before giving it to someone even with that Apple ID off because it's still gonna ask you for the main computer's password when trying to reset or recover uh, your computer here. So we're just resetting everything. And then what I'm gonna go to next is actually gonna be right down here, disk utility, because we're gonna delete everything off this computer to get it ready for a new user. So you can see I'm actually using a lot of this space here for the Mac OS base system, but we're gonna go over here to Untitled, and we're gonna go ahead and hit Unrace. So this is a pretty important part right here, just Unrace everything. And we're gonna go ahead and delete group volume right here. And we're gonna go ahead and delete the group volume. And it's gonna delete everything off of that hard drive. So when you're doing this, just make sure you're ready. You have all your files that you wanted backed up somewhere. So once you start deleting stuff, it will be gone forever. Okay, so that is deleted. And now right here, you're gonna see the 500 gig SSD is completely free. And now we're ready to go to the next step. So we're gonna hit this red arrow, or red X right here. And now we're gonna reinstall Mac OS. Depending on your version, this might be a little different and we're gonna hit continue. And what you're doing right here is actually installing a brand new Mac OS to the computer. So when you do give it to the next person, they have everything set up their way, just like as if it was a brand new computer right out of the box, which makes that used buying experience just that much more better. 
So we'll go ahead and let that load. We're almost there guys. Again, a couple clicks and your computer is ready to sell, give away, donate, or if your computer's having some issues, sometimes this might be a really good fix for you. It's just reinstalling everything. And you're gonna hit agree right here and agree again. This is agreeing to the statements. And now you can see the hard drive right here is completely empty. It shows a 500 gig SSD. That's the one we're gonna choose. All our data is off of it. And just like that, in two hours and 33 minutes, you have a brand new iOS on your computer. Passwords are completely off and the iCloud is completely off. So this is the proper way to do it. Keep in mind, this does take a bit of time, but again, you wanna make sure all those important documents are off your computer before selling it. This is a pretty fast video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up icon down below. If you have any questions or concerns, always leave that down below in the comments. And again, Ghost57 out, and I'll see you in the next one. And of course, guys, make sure to subscribe, make my channel grow. We're still under 3,000 subscribers at this point. I always like to send new videos out. If you have any videos, hints, hints, tips, or anything like that you want me to work on, just leave it down below in the comments, and I'll get to that video for you. Anyways, again, I'll see you in the next one. Ghost57 out. See you later, guys. Thank you for your time.